motherfuckers free chase. The boys in the rear view. All right, what's going on today, everybody? So, as you can see, my car is absolutely filthy. Um, we've had some weird ass weather here for the past few days. So I've got like, I've got crazy water spots everywhere and I've got like, my, my rear bumper is black. Yeah, that's not good. So, uh, I'll have to clean that soon, but I did get a new upgrade. As you can tell from the title, I did a major power upgrade to this 335. So I'm sure you're wondering like what upgrade did I do under the hood? Well, I mean, the thing is, it's not under the hood, it's in the trunk actually. So, let me let me show you. It's not gonna be what you expect at all, okay? Now you should just get ready for this because it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a big surprise. I didn't plan on doing this upgrade for a while just because it wasn't on my priority list and it's really expensive. So that's why I wanted to put it off as long as possible, but, Things happened, and now I just went for it. So that's what we got here now. So let me just let me get it out here so I can show you. Oh, oh shit. Okay, yeah. See, that's the fucking battery it's got. All right, that's just gnarly. My last one died. Um, my last one, I I couldn't sit in my car with the car turned off and play music or roll up windows when the car was turned off. It would just die and I got tired of it dying. And I didn't really want to get stranded anywhere else, so I figured now might be the time to just go for the battery. And the thing is, I bought the best battery they made just because I figured why not buy the best one and have it last longer, and that way in the long run it'll cost me less. So that's what I did. That's my power upgrade right there, okay? The, the thing starts so fast now, I can turn my car for listening to music and sit in there and chill, uh, no worries. Um, it's really nice actually. And the thing is with these batteries, I know there's BMW guys out there, and we all know batteries for these cars are usually expensive as shit. And that's because for BMWs, the batteries have to be, well, they don't have to be, but this one right here is a gel battery, meaning it's not the normal acid battery, because in these cars, as you can see, the battery's in the trunk. And when the battery's in the trunk, they worry about basically battery acid fumes leaking into the trunk, which is shared with the cabin, which in the long run, you don't want to breathe in battery acid fumes. I don't, or at least I don't. I don't know about you. Okay, I don't do, I don't do that in my free time. But um, yeah, basically it's to stop doing that and also these batteries, I guess they just last longer. Uh, this one has like a four year free replacement warranty and also it's guaranteed to last twice as long as other batteries. So it should be good. And also, this battery does support around 90 starting amps, which is a lot more than uh, a normal battery, which is why if your car dies, if you have a BMW and it dies, you have to jump it with another BMW or a bigger car like a truck, which I learned with my last car. Shit fucking died, and I tried jumping it with a regular car or just jumper cables, and now it didn't work, it didn't want to do anything. So I had to get my friend to use his Raptor to jump it, which that worked perfectly. Also, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about registering a battery to the car. And I know that sounds very confusing, but let's just say you have an older battery that's kind of low on power, and these cars can actually learn the battery. So this car will recharge the battery based on the power spec, uh, specs that it has from the battery and it's learned over time. So. Uh, if you have a new battery and it's charging it as if it was an old battery that's losing charge, it might overcharge the new battery causing it to wear down faster and probably last around half the time. Um, if you get a new battery in your car and you install it yourself, uh, it's fine to drive around with it like that for a day or a week at most. I wouldn't do it more than that just to because you don't want to mess up a $400 battery. But if you search around, you can find a shop that will do it for free for you because it takes like all but five seconds. Uh, the big part is installing it yourself. It's kind of a bitch. It took me like 35 minutes, honestly. Uh, this shit's, that, that fucking battery was 90 pounds, okay? That, look at this tiny, look at this tiny space. And it's all recessed back in there behind the tail light. That 
that was not easy. That was one of the hardest things I've done in a while in this car. Um, yeah, so basically, when you install these batteries, this guy comes off, you take all this shit off, that thing comes off. Uh, there's like a brace down there holding it down so you can't move the battery. Oh, it's super snug right there. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a bitch to get out. So, so if you buy the battery yourself, I would say take the time, install it yourself, then have it registered. Uh, I found someone that was nice enough to do it free. Uh, I would just search around for that. Don't don't go out and pay a hundred dollars for someone to come uh, and go on your computer system and click a button to reset it because that's all it is really. Um, otherwise, I love it. The car starts so fast now. Uh, no hesitation. I don't have to worry about it dying. Uh, it's all good. So definitely recommend it. I mean, if your battery's dying and you don't you don't need you don't have a BMW and you don't need this battery, it's easy, but. When it's that much, it's kind of a hard thing to push yourself to do just because I really want to do other things to the car other than buy batteries, uh, as you can see. But yeah, I'm glad it's done. I can check that off my to-do worry list. And next on is uh, just mods because I don't think there's anything else in this car that I have to uh, repair, knock on wood. But um, yeah, uh, one more thing. Since you guys are already here, I figured I might as well ask this. Uh, because I know I just roasted you on the fucking power upgrade. So, uh, one big thing is, I when I, I put the mufflers back on, and they have the stock tips coming out. They're kind of growing on me because they kind of stand out from the bumper. But, if you saw my muffler delete, I did have um, gloss black 4 inch tips that were single wall on there. <clears throat> I've been thinking about putting those back on, but the one thing preventing me from doing it is that I feel like the black hides too much in uh, the diffuser. And I'm not sure if I should go for it or not. I mean, these don't look that bad, honestly. Like, you can kind of see they, they stick out a little bit and they kind of pop out because they're silver. And the inside just turns black because it's all that soot and shit. But, yeah, I just really can't decide. I have the tips right here if you guys, if you guys want to see. Uh, let's, hopefully they're not absolutely filthy. All right, let's see. So... They're fucking huge, but uh, let's see. Like, one second. This is this is super awkward. All right, here we go. Here we go. You kind of see the black matches the diffuser because the diffuser is gray, uh, so it won't pop as much. But I mean, they are a lot bigger. Than those so I'm really not sure I mean it won't cost me too much uh, it won't cost me like more than like 70 bucks to have them put on uh, and I think it might make the car sound better because these tips were made by BMW to direct the noise straight out the back uh, I think if I swap those out I'll be able to hear the uh, exhaust that I modded more inside the cabin when I'm driving which is really a big plus for me because right now I cannot hear it at all I have to roll all the windows down and basically just be on the fucking gas like there's no tomorrow just to hear my car because the car is so sound deadened um but from the outside the thing sounds badass so in the comments let me know um if i should uh if i should go gloss black tips or leave the stock ones on and um try to rule a final verdict about that uh but thanks for checking out the video I appreciate you for watching. Sorry about roasting you. Be sure to follow me on social media and check out more of my videos. Uh, I'll see you next time.